Because I've been to an iPad factory. I've, I've been to an iPad factory, and I've seen boxes and boxes and boxes of the iPad stacked as high as the eye can see. But guess what? This is just in the factory collecting dust. Why? Because we don't have enough fancy pieces of paper to get it all. That's crazy. We all could have iPads. We all could be right now with iPads. But we just don't have enough fancy pieces of paper to get it. So if you move the fancy people, fancy piece of paper out of the way, we don't gonna have iPads. I could be on vacation right now instead of here talking to you guys. Unfortunately, I can't afford a vacation. Why? Because I'm poor. I grew up poor, so what did that mean for me? Well, that means I didn't have access to the top university of the school. I couldn't afford an Ivy League. Oh, you should have got a scholarship. You should have. Well, guess what? My parents had to work all day, so there was nobody really there to support me. Oh, well, that's your parents' fault. They should have, they should have worked harder. Well, they are working harder. That's why they're working all day. Think about it. I know somebody in this room would have one or two or three problems today alone because of money. And the idea that this piece of paper is causing these problems, it's ridiculous. What are we? What are we doing? The government. Where, where did you get that notion from? Money doesn't come from the government. It comes from the private Federal Reserve Bank. Now, okay, well, they have federal in the name. Of course it's federal. No, the Federal Reserve is about as federal as Federal Express. There's nothing federal about the Federal Reserve. So the fact is we have a private banking institution in charge of our entire money supply, and we have no say in it as people. And I'll tell you what. If that little green piece of paper is what rules the world, right? Then all you need is a printer to rule the world. Because you can just print more of the paper. And guess who has a printer? The bank. <laughs> all money starts in the bank. And ultimately all money ends in the bank. They are our masters. <laughs> so the best thing you can do is educate yourselves on monetary economics. Learn about money mechanics. Learn about the Federal Reserve Bank. You, you have Glenn Glenn Glenn. There you go. She's with it. She knows the Federal Reserve has nothing to do with the United States whatsoever. They might, they might as well just open a KFC or something. It's a private institution. She's got it. She's right on point. You see this? There's, there's enough of us waking up here on this train. Everybody got Google. Everybody got the internet, right? Yeah, I see a lot of heads going up and down. Everybody, yeah. Hey, listen, if you have a smartphone, and you're using it to do dumb things, just throw it out the window right now. If you're playing solitaire on your iPhone, just throw it away right now, please. This is just ridiculous. If you have a smartphone, be smart about it. Use it to improve your life, to learn something. Because guess what? Knowledge will make us unfit to be slaves. That's Frederick Douglass right there for you. Knowledge will make you unfit to be a slave. School has four children. Knowledge is power. There you go. Knowledge is power. What did you have to tell you to say? Knowledge is power. Everybody knows the answer. I want to see that. 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 Very good. Very good. I think a lot of you guys are heading out of Times Square as well, right? Everybody's going to be a part of the pages of history, correct? We're going to read about this time period.